Hello amiguinhos and welcome back to my channel. So for this week, I have a major DIY project that I want to show you guys. I will be refurbishing this kitchen cart that is from Ikea, but we got it off of Facebook Marketplace. According to Google Translator, the table is called Forheya. I hope I pronounced that right. The kitchen cart will be my coffee bar. Um, it is a little dirty, it is a little stained, but you know, it's in great shape. The wheels worked perfectly fine. It's a little squeaky, but you know, that's not, not a big deal because I won't be moving it around. The previous owners did mention that they were using this as um, extra storage in their apartment. It just needs a little bit of loving like we all do. I'm actually really grateful that my husband convinced me into getting this piece rather than the piece that I was actually looking at because it was a lot smaller than this one. This piece is actually bringing the entire apartment together. But enough of that, let's get into the video, let's get into the DIY, and let's get into painting. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was the color that I chose. It's called Antique White, and the color on the can doesn't really give it justice. It's a nice cream color. I didn't want something extremely bright as the majority of the decoration here in the apartment is already white, so I wanted something to be really soft on the eyes. The stain color that I chose was natural, and I think that these two combinations of color is going to be perfect for this piece and for the decor that I have here at home. I decided that I'm going to stain the countertop and the wheels only, and the rest of the kitchen cart I'm actually going to be painting it with the antique white. But I will be protecting the entire cart with the sealer as well. That's enough of that, let's get to the good stuff, the prepping and the painting. And guys, please ignore the fact that I am missing a full-on frame right behind me. It literally fell a day before I started recording and I just didn't have time to go out and grab another one. But know that there's supposed to be a fourth frame and not just three and a big gap. So at this point I already have two coats of paint on, I am about to start um, staining. I am just trying to decide whether or not I am going to have the natural wood side showing for the drawers or the painted side. So I went ahead and painted one side of the drawer and left the other one natural. Um, I'm just trying to decide whether or not I'm going to keep it natural or not, but I ended up opting out for the painted side. So I'm just going to go ahead and start staining the countertop. I am using paper towels to stain the countertop and the drawers. It's not the first time that I use this method but it is the best method that I have found especially since I don't have any specific cloths to actually stain things so I think paper towels was the best way to do it. Now these are the floating shelves that I bought off of Amazon and they do come with hooks and it's a pack of two. I just wanted to do an unboxing here with you guys to show you what is inside the box. 
So the first thing that I noticed while I was unboxing this was how organized everything was. It had already come with the anchors and the nails. It was it, it kind of took me by surprise, which honestly I really don't know why, but it just did. I also wanted to mention that this video isn't being sponsored in any way. I just really really liked these floating shelves. So if anybody wants to add extra storage anywhere in their home, I will be linking them down in my description box. As you can see, the shelf themselves isn't exactly the same color as the tabletop, but in the end, I think it came out really well and it was a great match anyways. But let's get to building both of these floating shelves. I also just wanted to mention that these shelves were super easy to build. So 10 out of 10, I definitely recommend them. So the coffee bar is almost ready. I got the stain on, the two coats of paint is also on, but now I am just going to have to wait 24 hours to actually put on the sealer. But while I'm waiting for the 24 hours to pass, I will be going ahead and just sealing the entire body of it. Cause then after I do have to flip over the table and do the wheels as well, I'm going to be staining them. This is the polytherian that I used. Um, this little can, did the job i didn't have to buy another one i was actually worried that i would have to buy another one but i'm really glad that this small can from the home depot did the job as well Is the next day and she is looking absolutely gorgeous it is time to add the sealer I wasn't shy of adding the sealer on I did a really good coat because it will be the part that will be receiving the most contact with hands and coffee and sugar whatever it's going to happen so I really wanted to protect it really well so I did a really good thick coat on it So my husband and brother-in-law both wanted to participate in the making of this coffee cart so I allowed them to do the shelves. So it is the next day, I think it's actually a, a, a couple of days later. As you can see my mom's dog is walking back and forth. Um, I am here just putting the final touches like the hooks and the drawers and then I'm going to go over exactly what I did and what went down.
So here's my coffee bar. Please ignore the holes that are on the wall. I will be fixing that later. I have one right over there that I will deal with later. I'll be covering it probably with decoration. Like I had mentioned before, I decided on the color was ancient white and the countertop color stain actually is natural. I got both the paint and the stain at Home Depot. And then I also put, I apologize if I say this wrong, polytherian. I think that's what it is, polytherian. I did a really good thick coat on the top and then I did a nice even coat on the the rest just in case if I hit it something or it spills. I don't know, I just wanted to protect everything with uh, the polytherian and I did let everything dry very well. The, van the vanish, why do I wanna keep saying vanish? The stain I did let dry for 24 hours before I put the polytherian over it. Um, that's what the instructions said, so I decided to follow what the instructions told me to do. The handles, um, <laughs> believe it or not, they are glued. They are super glued. I didn't have a drill. I knew how to do it. I just didn't have it. <laughs> I wanted to do this, you know, very simple. I did, like I mentioned, I super glued them. So hopefully they will last. And I got both of the handles also from Home Depot. The hook for the cloth I bought at Walmart. It was around probably $2. Um, and these two shelves, they came in one pack. I will link them down. They were the best ones that I could find that were going to match the color of the shelf to the color of the actual table. So I did research a lot. These two had a really good review on them. So I bought them too. I really, I was kind of just looking for one, but then when I saw these two for the same price as one, I just went ahead and bought these two. This isn't exactly what I wanted to buy. It's from Ikea. Lately, Ikea is completely out of stock of basically everything. My husband saw this on Facebook Marketplace for $40. This actually goes for $100 at the store. So I went ahead and bought it because I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait until they actually put it back in stock. It was really well taken care of. There was no damage to it except for a bigger stain right here. And then I think that this is a burn mark, but with the whole cleaning and the staining, it looks like it's a part of the entire thing. So that really makes me happy. If it wasn't going to be like this, I was going to use this part and put it back there as like a way to hide it. But I am really, really happy with how this turned out. And that concludes this week's video. I am completely obsessed with this coffee bar. I will be adding the link to these shelves in the description box. I did get them from Amazon and I think that they are perfect. They're very sturdy. They are holding up pretty well. And I think that they make a great addition to any space that you guys have. I can't wait to show you guys how I decorated the coffee bar for the fall season. That video will be up on my channel very soon. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Love you all and I will see you next time. Bye!